Do you remember your first day at university? How did you feel? Were you nervous or just happy that finally this new life would begin? I remember that I felt like I didn't belong, that I shouldn't aim for something as high as a university degree, let alone think about a career in academia. Nobody in my family had ever attended a university. Everybody else I met at my first year at university had family members with an academic degree who could share their experiences with them. For these friends of mine, being at university was just where they were supposed to be. Not so for me. Luckily, those fellow students and some of my professors were really supportive and welcoming so that this feeling of not belonging was slowly fading away. But when I think about it today, more than 30 years later, the memory of this feeling still motivates me and even guided my career choice. I became a science journalist and it became my mission to open the world of academia and science for everybody. I love being a science journalist. I can travel the world and meet interesting people for interviews. I am pretty sure that my articles, my TV and radio reports for public broadcasters in my home country Germany made scientific findings more accessible for people with no higher education. But the media landscape has changed a lot since my early days in journalism and more and more scientists communicate about their scientific work on social media or at outreach events of their institution. A few years back, science communication became a thing and I was asked to teach it. Two decades after I became the first university student in my family, I became a lecturer at a university and I realized that by teaching master students, PhD candidates, young researchers and even professors how to communicate in a comprehensible manner, I would still follow my mission and make scientific findings more accessible for people with no higher education. And of course, I want you to be my ally. You might ask yourself, when is this video tutorial about science communication really starting? Well, by telling you about my motivation and my path into science communication, I already gave you a very important lesson. Never hide behind being an expert. Always stay true to who you are and let your audience know who you are as a person and a member of society. Only then you can establish a real connection with your audience. And last but not least, and that's my second lesson in this video, before you start any communication project, may it be with a lay audience or with other scientists, you need to think about why you are doing this, what is your motivation, why are you communicating. As a journalist, I love W questions. Whenever I want to write a news story, I start with a few key questions. Who, what, when, where, why and how? In journalism, these questions are known as the five W's and H. The origins of these questions go as far back as to Aristotle. The five W's and H are widely used in other fields where information gathering is crucial. Police work, for example. If you want to communicate, you can use these questions to analyze the upcoming communicative situation. And you are lucky. As a science communicator, you can skip the when question. These are your guiding 4W and H questions. Why am I communicating? Who do I want to address? What am I communicating? Where am I communicating? How do I communicate? Each video of this tutorial will give you tools and guidelines how to find the answers to one of these questions. But be careful, none of the four W's and H is independent of the others. They are connected and you should always think of all of them together. So it really makes sense to watch all the videos. I already mentioned the first W. Why are you communicating? This is a question about your communication goal. And the answer to this question is multifaceted. There's of course your personal motivation. I just told you that mine is deeply rooted in my personal story as a first generation academic and my mission to open the world of science. But then there are the answers for every specific communicative situation. When you are about to give a talk about your research in front of a lay audience, your question could be, why am I giving this talk? 
And the answer, your communication goal, could be because I want to raise awareness among my audience about certain issues. Maybe you are a climate researcher or a doctor or you do research about misinformation on social media. There are so many research topics where researchers need to raise awareness. But your answer to the why question in this scenario could also be because it's good for my career if I participate in outreach activities. Both answers could be correct in this scenario. But you might have noticed that one of them refers to your audience and the other one to yourself. Thinking about your answer to the why question and your communication goal must take both parties into account. So there might be two communication goals, one that pertains with yourself and one that pertains with your audience. As I said, the answer to the why question can be multifaceted. Feel encouraged to develop your own understanding and responsibility as a researcher for and with society. This will help you to identify your own communication goals. We are nearing the end of our first video. If you really want to get the most out of this short introduction into science communication, you should take the time and finish the tasks that I have prepared for you. You can also find lots of links and background information on our website if you like to dive deeper into this chapter's topic.